Hello, Oz here with Datascopic showing you the second favorite Excel function. The if function for, was number one and number two is the all powerful V lookup because it will pull your ass out of a fire when you have to deal with something like this. We have a master list of members and it goes down to row 192 and we have sent out invitations and these are the people who have replied we want to know who has not replied okay and we can go sage where is sage on this list and then go and find rota we can uh we can sort these alphabetically and then compare them against each other and that is painful it's prone for error you get in the middle of it and then the phone rings and then you've lost your place anything can happen so let's just do a v lookup equals v lookup look for sage and where do we want to look for sage we want to look for sage right here in this range okay. comma and if and when sage is found what do we want to bring back we can bring back the name the age whatever we're looking for the people who are not in the other list so let's bring back the age and we're going to go one two say the name age two and then false because we want an exact match. We don't want something close to Sage. We want exactly Sage. So, right, Sage is in this list. Let's bring this down. Ah, now, this is on purpose. Cherokee is an example of using the absolute and relative cell references you have to pay attention to this with, with VLOOKUP okay now look A3 is SAGE H3 to I196 it starts right here look the green box starts right there now when we go here the green box starts here all right, it's going down. The, 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 the range is moving just like this name. So when we get to Cherokee, what happened? Cherokee is not in the range. So we've got a problem. We have to do something to keep this from moving while this can move. So I'm going to exit out of here, and then I'm going to put in the, the um, absolute cell reference. And you can put click F4 or I can type in the dollar signs dollar sign I dollar sign 169 now let's see see now it did find Cherokee because the box is in the same place notice Cherokee moved the range did not get down here that the name moved but the box did not excellent so we can double click now and then just say okay now we see Ruby hasn't replied Caldwell hasn't replied anybody who is over here but isn't over here is gonna bomb out with an error Darius was not found on this list meaning he has not replied to the invitation Jeremy these are the people we've got to call them up email them something get them to say hey what's going on with you all right that is a really good use of VLOOKUP and then another one is oftentimes we get impartial lists all right so what if we were looking at a list and it had Amity we know Amity's 55 and we want to know the city of residence we can do a VLOOKUP VLOOKUP look for Amity where let's look in this range ok 
Okay. And what do we want to bring back? We want to bring back the city, which is one, two, three. So comma three and false because we don't want anything close. And let's remember that we need our our absolute cell references. So F4, F4, enter. Amity is in Hamilton. Let's double click and we see okay Zaria is in Durango Cassidy Utica Michelle Selma Lucas Sierra Vista Orlando is in Waukegan Gemma Pocatello all right so we are good and it was instantaneous and we could also notice if there are any errors over here what would that mean that would mean, say, if Zoe was an error instead of showing Flint, that would mean that Zoe was not found over here, which means something to investigate. But we don't have any errors here, and what we would do is copy this column and then paste as values, because here, let me exit out and show you. This is a formula right now. And if you started using this data, it would get screwed up, okay, because you're dealing with formulas. So we're going to do a thing called copy and then paste as values so that we have cities here now, not, not formulas anymore. Now we can use this data, move it around, do anything, and not worry about um, the, the formulas getting messed up. So there you have it, the power of the VLOOKUP to compare lists. We looked for who has not replied to an invitation and we had an impartial, uh, an incomplete list where we wanted the city, but the city had not been provided to us initially, but it was easy to retrieve. So thanks a lot. Um, the other, the, uh, favorite functions three four and five will be coming soon and please send me any questions that you have and i will get you an answer on my blog thanks a lot